If you are looking for a professional content creation laptop but don't want to use Mac OS, the ASUS ProArt StudioBook 16 OLED right over here is something that you should be looking at. It has a stunning color validated 16-inch 4K OLED panel and a few things that even the new 16-inch MacBook Pro doesn't have. And one of them is a physical dial wheel that is built onto the laptop right over here and supports Adobe apps. Our office has been using this as both a productivity and creative work calls and here's our thoughts about it. We've added a whole lot of things to good use by KLGG such as bags, smart locks, audio gear and more. Shop now and check out with Atomi and IOU pay 0% installment from 50 ringgit and get 10 ringgit off your first purchase with minimum 100 ringgit spend. Visit good use by KLGG in the link below. The StudioBook 16 OLED features a really nice discrete matte black chassis that I really like. It has really nice aesthetics around the back that looks very inspired from ASUS's tough gaming laptops. Although it weighs 2.4 kilograms, I find it to be very manageable and is slick enough to fit into my backpack. In terms of ports, the laptop has a healthy amount of them, including two full-size USB 3.2 Gen 2 and two USB-C 3.2 Gen 2, with both supporting display output and USB PD charging, an HDMI 2.1 port, Gigabit Ethernet, and a high-speed SD card reader that supports up to 985 megabytes per second of transfer speed. Although the USB-C ports on this particular unit does not support Thunderbolt 4 that's available on the Intel variant, some content creators might not actually need it because it has sufficient amount of ports and you can really output to an 8K monitor with 120Hz refresh rate with HDMI 2.1, not unless you require to connect an external GPU or a Thunderbolt storage on this device. My unit here is the most expensive configuration that ASUS sells. It has an AMD Ryzen 9 5900HX processor, NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3070 laptop GPU that does up to 110 watts with dynamic boost, 64 gigs of DDR4 3200 MHz RAM, and a terabyte of NVMe storage. This is a very powerful configuration that will work very well with professional 4K video editing and graphics design. My experience with the laptop over the week has mostly been doing the typical everyday computing stuff, such as writing emails, browsing the web, streaming movies, and music. The 16-inch 4K OLED panel here is such a joy to look at, and the 16 by 10 aspect ratio means a lot to me, as I can use the extra vertical space to enjoy reading an article on our website. The loud speakers are not the best of experience on a Windows laptop, but it still managed to produce decent volume and details. I like that the webcam comes with a physical privacy shutter, but I'm disappointed with the image quality, which really shouldn't happen on an expensive laptop like this. The laptop's keyboard works well for me, although I prefer it without a numpad. It offers a really nice silent typing experience, and I like the textured directional keys. The trackpad comes with three separate buttons, which can be useful if you don't want to use an external mouse and deal with multi-touch. As for the ASUS dial wheel, I find it to be very useful if I want to quickly adjust my speaker volume and display brightness. But most importantly, I can create customized shortcuts such as copy and paste through the ProArt Creator Hub. Overall, this is a pretty quiet machine when it runs on battery and the fan merely spins up a little when I have many apps running in the background. The laptop's battery lasted me 4 hours and 15 minutes of productive use on a single charge with 60% off screen brightness, which is expected for having a 4K OLED panel. Now, I'm sure you aren't going to purchase this machine for doing your office stuff and stream Netflix. So instead of me talking more about it, let's have our two video editors in this office tell you about their experience. The next morning. And today we are to do it. Today, tomorrow? Tomorrow. <laughs> tomorrow. Hey, what's up guys? My name is Nabila. And Endem's here. And today we are given a task to talk about the Asus ProArt laptop from a video editor point, point of view. view. First up, we're going to talk about display. From my experience, I think the ProArt display is quite sharp and it's actually really good. I tried watching um, at least the K-pop videos, it actually look really nice. And for video editing, darn good. And it also supports HDR and if you want to try do HDR video editing, yes, you can try it. But I have one problem with the display. It's actually a little bit too warm for me, so you know, when you take it out from the box, you just want to straight away do your editing and yeah, you can calibrate your display, so I don't think that's a big problem. And for my side, I feel like the display is good for contrast and sharpens and everything, but it's just like Bell said, it's a bit too warm. So I can say the display was very good overall. 
Okay, so now we're gonna talk about battery life. So for me, I did a five minute video editing on the Asus Pro Art, and without the charging cable, I gotta say the battery drain quite fast. And with just a simple 20 to 30 minute video editing, and it drains like around 20%. That's actually very bad. And so for the export time for the five minute video, it took around seven minutes. I think it's quite okay, but still, there's a bit of a warning here. So if you want to edit on the Asus Pro Art, bring a charging cable, because if not, you can only do probably one video editing without the charging cable. So imagine yourself going to CS or Computex without the charging cable. How? Like for my side, I've been trying to use for editing a video, so like for five minutes uh, video duration time. So I'm be using like half an hour to editing it. I can say it's performance quite good, but at the same time also like juice up fast. And the after effect part, I'm been trying to use it without plug it in. So it's still functional, but the battery is used up faster than Premiere Pro. I feel like it's still functional, but it's like um, you can do it running guns and maybe like one video a day. Maybe you need to do like some fast wedding editing. It's still practical, but I still wish you are bringing the charger as long view. And yeah. All right, now the best part about the Asus Pro Art is the Asus Dial. So what I like about the Asus Dial is for me, it's, it is more convenient for me to zoom in and out on the Adobe Premiere timeline because I use it a lot. But what's not fun about it is they only have a few options for it. I just, I just wish that they have more options for Adobe Premiere. And also, there's, there's no left and right and up and down. So I just wish they have that option on the Asus Dial. It'll be pretty good. Okay, and turn to my side. I'll be using the second third party uh, console. It's called editing console. So I'll be using for quite a long time. So when I move to this, I feel like a bit too limited function for Premiere Pro editing because it's just like uh, just zoom in and out for a timeline. It's quite useful. I can't say it's like totally wrong, but it's quite useful. It's very useful because we all the time we're using the mouse when I zoom in out, we you know, move the the other hands to press the negative button and positive button for just zooming out. With the dial thing, I feel like it's very practical for zooming in out. But if for video editing, I feel like I'm more concerned for this thing. For this thing, I can customize the whole thing. It's like more buttons and all is like more practical. I can customize all the thing. I wish the dial can be like our PS5 controller here. So like it can be like move up and down, left and right. So you can get more optional to pick your selection. Maybe you can like move up, you, you can select your tools or whatever. But I feel like this device is mainly for like uh, Photoshop artists. Because I feel like it's very accurate when you're drawing, when you want to erase or something, you can control very accurately. Then you can se select the sign one digit by one digit, like not to like negative and positive, like 10 feet, uh, 10 or five times you need. So I feel like the down is good job for Photoshop, but it's not good job for video editing. So this is my conclusion. Okay, so the Asus Pro Art overall, even without the charging cable, it has no lag. There's no software crash for us video editor. And the display is darn good. It's just that I wish that they had come up with a more preset for the Adobe Premiere for the dial. And also, do not forget your charging cable when you do your video editing outside. Okay, turn to my side. I feel like this laptop is very good lightweight to bring it outside to editing. And also, I wish the Asus dial, they provided like some different software like AI and uh, AU or maybe like uh, WG, they will be more helpful for other video editor like because like not everyone is using the same software. I hope that Asus Style can provide that to other software that's like which like uh, DaVinci, AI, AU will be more helpful for them like, because like everyone's like using different software for doing different things. It will be helpful like if we provide more software use usage and optionals like the tools selected, it will be very helpful. But just it's still got a lot to improve. 
The Studiobook 16 OLED retails from 9,999 ringgit up to 11,999 ringgit, which is a standard price that you will have to pay for a premium content creation machine. The biggest competition to this laptop is obviously the new 16-inch M1 Pro MacBook Pro, which will obviously have better performance and efficiency in certain applications. However, not every content creator uses macOS for their creative workflow, and Windows still has better compatibility on programs and legacy external hardware. Hence, it really depends on what you desire on a mobile creative workhorse and if you appreciate things like the ASUS dial wheel and the OLED panel. So that's pretty much about our thoughts on the ASUS Pro Art Studiobook 16 OLED. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below and be sure to subscribe to our channel for more tech videos coming right up and I will see you guys in our next video.